Hello, I'm OBX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have something absolutely incredible to share with you all because we have our first look at TU30. So that's right, 4J Studios were hinting this just yesterday, and then they decided to just drop it on us today and show us our first look at TU30 in screenshot form. So I'll be explaining everything we can see in this screenshot, showing you it, breaking it down in today's video. But first of all, please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let us know you do like it. But let's get straight into the video. So yeah, I am quite excited about this because it's been quite some time since we've seen a massive update feature uh, shown this way but basically 4J Studios what they like to do is they like to show us a plush and then underneath that plush or somewhere near that plush there is always you know the development version of the next update and in this particular case they're showing off an Iron Golem plushie and as you can see it's kind of nice and then below that oh what's that is there a monitor and oh it's got TU30 on it oh yeah it does so in this screenshot you can see a few things but you might have missed something if you just glance at this so let's uh, you know let's zoom in on the actual screenshot part of it and let's break this down so first of all the big one the one that it's nearly impossible possible to miss is the Mesa biome. So this is confirming the new biomes part of it. They had said that in the tweet previously. If you don't believe that new biomes are coming, here is a literal screenshot of new biomes on the previous gen consoles. Because if you check the bottom left there, that is the 360 button. So yeah, this is a Mesa biome running on a 360, which is pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, we, we were almost sure it'd be there anyway, but now we know with literally 100% certainty because it's running right there. But besides the Mesa biome, which is cool enough by itself, uh, because you know, it's an amazing biome to look at, and I'm sure it's the one most people are looking forward to. Uh, we also have a few few other things. So first of all, you will notice there is a Guardian just chilling in the water over there. He's almost easy to miss right there, but that is the Guardian, one of the new mobs. Uh, he's probably the most dangerous of the new mobs. It's really cool that we will be getting them uh, to go along with that because the only real way to get Guardians is the Ocean Temple. So that means that, you know, Ocean Temple's not only going to exist, but they're probably going to exist on last gen too. So I have no idea how they intend to make these common enough to, you know, make it a regular thing. But yeah, uh, uh, Ocean Monuments and Guardians are going to be on last gen, which is a pretty cool thing. Uh, but besides Besides that, we also have several other things in this screenshot, which are revealed through the inventory. So yeah, you check the inventory, and it looks like two colors of stained clay and some weird fish stuff, but what we actually have are three new types of food confirmed. Uh, mutton, which is dropped when you kill a sheep uh, as of the 1.8 update, uh, and that will be happening here evidently, because you can see that is quite clearly a piece of mutton, so that's pretty cool by itself. It's kind of just an upgrade to the sheep. It means that when you kill it, you don't just have to get wool. You can get yourself some uh, lamb meat too, which uh, it's, it's kind of a nice bonus, but also the two new types of fish are pretty awesome because to add the new fish they presumably are going to be adding the new fishing system uh, which means that not only can you get fish when you go fishing you know uh, salmon uh, the regular fish we have right now clownfish and the puffer fish you see in the screenshot but there's also going to be you know the opportunity to get stuff like enchanted books rarely the opportunity to get stuff like leather boots uh, you can find all these things when you go fishing and that's presumably hinted by these new fish so that's pretty cool by itself also the push puffer fish can be brewed into a new potion but that's kind of that you can see right there two new fish confirmed that means new fishing is in there and so some amount. And then finally we have two blocks there. Again, they look quite a bit like green stained clay and pink stained clay, don't they? But what I believe they are, you know, it's kind of hard to tell when it's this low resolution, but what I believe it actually is, is on the left there, that is granite. Uh, granite is one of the three new blocks you can find underground. Again, a 1.8 feature and a slime block. Slime blocks would be pretty awesome. They're one of the most exciting 1.8 features and I believe that is a slime block and granite. It doesn't really make sense for them to be the only, you know, things in the inventory that aren't new update stuff. But yeah, that's kind of everything in the screenshot so far, the new biome, and presumably all the rest of them, uh, the Guardian mob, and presumably the Ocean Monument, uh, Mutton, new fish types, and the new fishing system, Granite, and Slime Blocks. Uh, that's a lot of things for just this first screenshot. I think it really shows the pace they're going to be revealing this stuff to us at, because, you know, if they do one screenshot a uh, week for the next, like, three or four weeks, they'll have revealed all the features, which presumably means my previous release date target of the end of November slash, uh, you know, pre uh, early December seems like it is what they're going for, because, you know, again, this massive massive screenshot in the middle of October it means pretty good stuff and I am quite excited personally uh, I presume all of you are and because I like to add some analysis to these videos so it's not just oh here's the new thing that came out instead I'd like to point out at least one thing you might not have realized before but basically the fact that they're showing off all these big features on the Xbox 360 version first really does show just how dedicated they are to that version of the game still and that means I don't believe there are any features that are going to be missing from the 360 version we still haven't seen anything about Amplified yet but every you know big feature whether it's Guardians whether it's these new biomes, whether it's slime blocks, they all seem like they're going to be on the 362. So if you're on, you know, last gen consoles, they still seem pretty dedicated and that's pretty awesome. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say today. I'm pretty excited. I hope all of you are too. If you are, please do like the video and let me know. Share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make news videos like this and other videos like this every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Let me know in the comments down below which feature you saw that you're most excited for. Uh, for me personally, it's probably going to be the slime block. That seems so exciting. Maybe 
maybe even the Guardian though. It just looks so cool on console. But I'd like to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Also, I have a playlist of all the TU30 features that uh, you know I've been covering my feature preview playlist so far. I'll link that in the description. Also, I'm doing a feature preview later tonight on the banners. So hopefully you enjoy that. But anyway, I hope you all have a nice day and goodbye.